the human cerebrum is depicted here in aqua. Are humans the only individuals that possess a cerebrum? No, this is a feature of every brain going back to the first vertebrates, as can be seen here in the hagfish, lamprey, shark, perch, frog, and turtle, all of which possess a cerebrum. Is the cerebrum in these animals the same as that of humans? Well, there are some similarities, but obviously great differences as well. One of the similarities is the olfactory bulb, the accessory olfactory bulb, and the areas which process smell or olfaction. It seems that in the earliest vertebrates, the cerebrum was primarily an area which processed the sense of smell. This type of cerebral cortex is what is known as paleocortex, and it is recognizable as different from most of the cortex of mammals and humans by having three layers of cells as opposed to the neocortex, which possesses six. This type of cortex with three layers, or paleocortex, forms from the lateral roof which forms over the developing cerebrum, the lateral pallium. And that is pictured here in red. And one can see that the lateral pallium in red is an important part of the cerebrum of diverse vertebrates. If one were to then analyze how the lateral pallium from a mammalian embryo then develops into the lateral pallium of adult mammals, one can see that the role that this lateral pallium has varies as one goes from mammal to mammal. In primitive mammals, such as insectivores, the lateral pallium can still be a major component of the cerebrum, while in humans, its role has been greatly diminished. It is now primarily limited to the, to the olfactory bulb, the olfactory tract, and then some areas which process olfaction in addition to having roles in memory and emotions, such as the parahippocampal gyrus, the uncus, and the cortical amygdala. Why the difference slash confusion over the terms paleocortex or lateral pallium or even the older paleopallium? It was originally thought that the parts of the cerebrum evolved in stages so that at first, say, the red paleocortex or paleopallium would have been the only section and that, say, mammals would have added a new section. Molecular uh, staining techniques and improved microscopy now allow for different analysis, and this does not seem to be the case. It seems to be that the different sections of the modern human and mammalian uh, telencephalon or cerebrum were present in early uh, vertebrates. And so rather than paleo and neo, like old and new, um, the terms uh, dorsal pallium, lateral pallium are preferred.